Gopal and the Hilsa Fish. Class 7, Lesson number 3 from the textbook Honeycomb. Dear yes, students, I am sure all of you enjoyed reading Gopal and the Hilsa Fish because it's in the form of a short comic book. I'm sure all of you like comic books. The lesson, Gopal in the Hilsa Fish, as I told you earlier, is in the form of a comic book. That is, the story is told mainly through pictures. So, I'm sure that you all will enjoy it and at the same time, learn something new. To help you remember the story better and to help you recollect what you have read, let's go through a short summary of the lesson. The main character of the story is Gopal. Gopal was a courtier who was smart and had great presence of mind. The season of Hilsa fish was going on. People were talking about Hilsa fish and nothing else. Even in the king's court, the courtiers talked of the Hilsa fish all the time. The king was tired of this, so he thought of a plan. The king announced that any one of his courtiers who could buy a Hilsa fish and bring it to the palace without anyone asking a word about it, would be rewarded. Gopal accepted the challenge. He prepared himself by shaving off half his head, smeared his body with ash and wore rags. Then he set out to buy the fish. Gopal bought the fish and started walking towards the palace. And please remember, Gopal bought the biggest Hilsa fish in the market that day. On the way, everybody wondered who the madman was. They were so busy looking at him that nobody bothered to look at the fish he was carrying. Finally, Gopal reached the palace. The guards refused to let him enter as they could not recognize him. He started dancing and sang aloud. This attracted the attention of the king. The king asked the guards to bring the madman inside. Once inside the palace, even the king wondered who he was. Nobody looked at the fish. At last, Gopal told the king who he was and also reminded him about the challenge. The king congratulated Gopal for his wisdom and for winning the challenge. I'm sure all of you have understood the lesson better after reading the summary of the story. Now, to help you understand some of the unfamiliar or new words in the story, let's find out what some of the words which are new to you mean. So, the first word is courtiers. A courtier is a person who attends a royal court as a companion or advisor to the king or queen. The next word is ash. Ash is the soft gray or black powder that is left after a substance like wood or coal has burned. The third word is rags. Remember, Gopal dressed himself in rags. 
So rex is a piece of old cloth, usually torn. The next word is comical. It means funny. The last word is mystic. A mystic is a spiritual person like a sadhu. Now, let's see how well you have understood the story. So, we have some questions. I want you to try and answer them. After that, please write it down in your notebooks. So, the first question is, why did the king want no more talk about the hill fish? The second question is, what did the king ask Gopal to do to prove that he was clever? Third question. What three things did Gopal do before he went to buy his hill fish? Then we have two more questions. How did Gopal get inside the palace? To see the king after he had bought the fish. Question number five. Explain why no one seemed to be interested in talking about the Hilsa fish which Gopal had bought. Dear students, please remember that you have to write short answers to the questions one, two and three. But you have to write longer answers for questions 4 and 5. The next exercise is a fun exercise. You just have to write whether the statements are true or false. So, the first statement is, The king lost his temper easily. So you have to write true or false. The second statement is, Gopal was a madman. Third one, Gopal was a clever man. The fourth sentence is, Gopal was too poor to afford decent clothes. Here decent clothes means new and fashionable clothes. So the sentence is, I read it once again. Gopal was too poor to afford decent clothes. The last sentence is, The king got angry when he was shown to be wrong. Now we have some language exercises. The first exercise is, Notice how in a comic book, there are no speech marks when characters talk. Instead, what they say is put in a speech bubble. Okay, you must have seen a, a, seen a speech bubble in a comic book. So when characters speak, whatever they want to say is put inside a speech bubble. However, if we wish to repeat or report what they say, we must put it into reported speech. Please remember that reported speech is also known as indirect speech in English grammar. So let's start the exercise. Change the following sentences in the story to reported speech. The first one has been done, has been done for you as an example. So the example is how much did you pay for the Hilsa? So when we convert it, convert it into reported speech, it will go like this. The woman asked the man how much he had paid for that Hilsa. So let's try the second one. The question is, why is your face half shaven? So, you have a part of the answer given 
You have to fill in the blanks. Gopal's wife asked him. So how would you change the question into reported speech? This question given, why is your face half shaven? So you have to change it into reported speech and fill in the blanks. The third one, I accept the challenge, your majesty. Gopal told the king. Now you have to fill in the blank. The fourth one, I want to see the king. Gopal told the guards. The last one is, bring the man to me at once. The king ordered the guard. So please try fill in the blanks by changing the given statements or questions into reported speech. And after you, when you finish it, please write it down in your notebooks. Now I have some home assignments for you. I'm sure you'll enjoy doing it. The first one is, find out the meaning of the following words by looking them up in the dictionary. Then, after finding out the meanings of the words, use them in sentences of your own. The first word is, challenge. The second one is, mystic. The third word is, Comical. The fourth word is courtier. The last word is smearing. The second task is picture reading. And this is going to be fun. On page 44 and 45 of your textbook, we have pictures. It's in the form of a picture story. So what you have to do is look at the pictures and read the text aloud. Then answer the questions on page 46. You will be able to answer them after you have read the picture story. After that, after answering the questions, Write the story in your own words. You are going to become a story writer here. And don't forget to give it a title. Give a title to your story and make it a beautiful one. The last task is we have a word ladder. Do you know what is a ladder? The, a ladder is that... Uh, tool that we use to climb higher places. So complete the word ladder with the help of the clues given. And you'll find this exercise on page 47. And don't forget to draw the ladder in your notebook and fill them with words. So please enjoy your work. Don't forget to write down whatever exercises we have done here in your notebook. And please take care of yourself, stay safe and happy learning.